I'm going to test out my new gaming PC um, with the uh, Asus 4770 with um, we're going to run 3 Mark 06 in all defaults the single Asus 4770 and see which kind of scores we get not sure if you guys seen my other video um, of uh, the th 3D Mark Vantage or not but in case you guys don't have the 3D Mark Vantage and just have 3D Mark 06 then you can get an idea of um, what kind of uh, performance you can get with this card so right now we're at 27 frames per second and it jumped up to 56 it's at 26, 27 the action scene here which is pretty graphic intense It's at 45 frames per second now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the 4770 uh, is kind of comparable to the GeForce 8800. Or when they stopped making the 8800, I believe they um, and just switched over to the 250 GTS, which is pretty much the same performance. And some people say that it's also comparable to the GeForce 9800. Yeah, right now on the market, the uh, 4700 is going for around. 100, 120 and GTS 250 I believe is going for around 130 so it's a Firefly graphics test here it's at um, 30, 35, 36 frames per second The nice thing about ATI cards is that ATI Catalyst program makes it very easy to overclock these cards. Um, this particular one is not overclocked. Um, I don't. I, I get pretty good gaming performance. Um, just stock. It's at about about 50 frames per second right now. 45. The uh, CPU I'm using is the uh, AMD Quad Core 920. It's running at 2.8 gigahertz per core. It's uh, four, four, gig, four gigs of uh, gaming memory. That was just a CPU test right there. I, I could have chose to not r run the CPU test, but uh, if you're thinking about getting this card or comparing your th your 3D Mark 6 scores to this card, then it's probably a good idea to run the CPU test too.
Yeah, with the 4770, you do definitely get more performance than what you pay for. This is the uh, graphics test here, Canyon Flight. It's at uh, 40 frames per second right now. Fifty frames per second. Seventy two frames per second. As you can see, the card pushes 3D Mark 06 very well. Sixty frames per second, seventy five frames per second. If you do get this card, I wouldn't recommend overclocking it unless you got some, um, unless you got a pretty good gaming case with adequate fans and your ambient temperature isn't too high. This is the uh, deep freeze graphics test. It's running at 60 frames per second. Fifty six frames per second. Now this graphics test is pretty much running steady at about sixty frames per second. Uh, one nice thing I did notice about the card is the uh, when playing games the lighting and, and 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 water pretty much has no effect on slowing down the the card's performance. As with some older cards, you would definitely notice a decreased performance with with that, but. Okay, and 3D Mark's 3D Mark 06 score is 11,873. The SM 2.0 score is 4,582. The uh, HDR SM 3.0 score is 5,250. My uh, quad-core AMD 920 CPU score is 3,982.